Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Adil from Ember and happy Easter guys! <laughs> I finally got a budget. Okay, let's begin with the income, guys. I didn't actually know how expensive life was until I got to university. Okay, it is no jokes, guys. Because like, when you are like not in the situation or when you've never lived on your own and you didn't have to like plan a budget or anything, you don't really know like what will be expenses. Okay, so you just like, do stuff and buy stuff and stuff and then you like gather all your information and then you're like <laughs> what is this guys <laughs> so yeah it is not great not good but yeah we will survive and get through this and <laughs> oh, okay anyway in the beginning of march I had this contemplation, I was like, okay, what will be cheaper? Will it be cheaper to go to the mall, buy stuff and then bolt back to my house? Or will it be cheaper to like, sometimes use like, check a 6060? Or will it be cheaper to like, sometimes buy food, so at the fast food chain? So go eat out or something, <laughs> guys. Not one of those options are cheap. Literally not one of them. <laughs> okay yeah but i will make maybe like later on a video like comparing different like student living situations so that you guys can see how or how i live versus how other students live and all of us have different uh, incomes and different uh, expenses and stuff like that so it is pretty interesting to see how every student lives differently yeah Okay, but this video is just about me. <laughs> now, one disclaimer that I have is I didn't record with how much money I um, started with in March. Now, my income for March of 2024 is... Drumroll, please. It is an estimated 4,700 grand. Okay, and let's go divide it up. So I have three categories or three main categories, but later on when this first starts paying out, I will be it will be divided up into four categories. But at the current stage, it is three categories. So the first one is family. So these are my friends, my family members, um, people in my community uh, that uh, decided this month they want to invest in my life and I'm very grateful and I love you guys so much and yeah without you guys I won't be here right now and um, yeah so they gave me around about a total of a thousand seven hundred grand now the reason why I say around about is because I lost track of some of the like money that I got in then sponsorships was the second one so these are or oh, this is the category of people or, organize, or organizations that said they wanted to help you this year and I'm very glad and I'm so thankful for you guys then the other guys now this one won't always be here so I think like this one will be replaced by Nisfas but other is basically it consists of two things so the one is the Betamy account so if you have Capitec account, you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, Capitec, uh, every time you make an online purchase or an EFT, or yeah, EFT, online purchase, anyway, um, they will take like the cents that are left to make a whole rand and then they will put it in your Betamy account. And then at the end of each month, I will just like take that money and just repay it into my main account. And then, secondly, Fundi. So in the beginning of the year, I uh, paid my registration fee and because I am now in the process of being finalized for NESFAS, I got my registration fee paid back to me from uh, uh, by the university, which I'm so glad and so grateful for. Now the expenses, guys. Let's, let's get, let's get to this. Okay. Now the expenses is 4,843.80. cents. <laughs> Now there are a few things that I didn't plan for and that I don't think will happen this month again 
for this coming month again, um, which like lower or like which skyrocketed kind of my expense report. Okay, but let's get into it. Now I divided up into three accounts or three categories. It is my wants, my needs, and then others. Now needs is stuff that I need and I can't live without. So it's stuff like food, my hygiene products water my electricity and stuff like that electricity and my rent or my rent i know definitely i didn't put in here which i probably should have but i did not and then um, my electricity bill i also i may have not or may not have put it in uh my expense report so yeah I, then my ones so here is where i am at fault okay and i know that I can actually like bring it down and as well with my needs I can also bring it down so yes but I accidentally made a mistake and I'm too lazy to now fix my expense report anyway okay but basically with my needs when I calculated everything I had two food bills so the one was um, stuff like coffee that I buy at the university or like lunch if I'm late at the university I just buy something there or if I go to my community meeting and we need to bring food then I just like put everything in that one and then the second one is groceries and stuff that I actually use at my everyday life in my everyday life but yeah but then I accidentally like put both of them together because I used the wrong formula because I did because I marked both of them as food so they calculated them both uh, together and I realized that too late so yeah so that is one thing is I can probably I spend less money at the university and then my wants um one thing is um well there are two things that i know uh that like jacked up the this price one is um i uh, bought new earphones because my old earphones is broken and i uh, I had to use them for an online class because I was at the university and I couldn't like not have earphones at the library. So yeah, so I used that and I think that the earphones cost like 200 grand because the shops at the university is very expensive. <laughs> and I have learned that in the very hard and costly way. Extras is stuff that I couldn't account for. I didn't really know I was like paying but basically like my banking fees and um, then also like um, the SMSs that is sent uh, each time I get a trans I made a transaction like money is deducted so, and then also I think I also uh, put here uh, my bolt the bolt is very expensive guys and yeah okay now guys it is finally time for me to show you guys the final result of this whole like commotion and stuff now it finally turned out to i have for, oh i like this month i got 4682 rand in income and then i had 4834 rand and 80 cents in expensive in expenses which means that drum roll guys it means that i am technically but not sure really in 152 rand and 80 cents in date now really the reason why i say i don't really know i'm unsure is because um yeah this whole thing this whole lovely lovely thing is that i didn't really know with how much money i started but i know i'm not in a minus or a zero so yeah okay let me give you guys an update on this bus again for the 500 millionth time okay basically what's been going on is i am now or i got on wednesday or not or on thursday I got an SMS which said, Hurrah or Hola, it's finally time for you to get your Nesfas money. 
and then you're like, okay, but first register for your bank account, which is an eZaga account. Um, I, th I, I think, or what I could see, it is the um, banking system that Nesfas uses for their um, students. Anyway, yeah, so I have now um, applied for the bank account. I'm just waiting for the confirmation email for uh, for them to tell me, okay, everything is great, which I think I'm going to get this week uh, because this week is the first week in April, uh, which is probably when I'm going to get my money. Now hey guys, it is finally time for the first thing piece of my life of the week <laughs> the our well, like one of the guy or the guy that preached i don't know if he's a pastor or someone but i think he's an elder or something in our church don't really know he said that uh we as christians um like we go to god and then we're like yeah we give our life to you and we give all our problems to you but then we like keep holding on to our baggage and to our luggage and then like every time God wants to take it back from us we pull harder and cling harder onto it and then he said for us to really experience God and to really uh, trust in him and have faith in him and uh, see what he's going to do in our life we need to be willing to give our life up and to sacrifice ourselves so that uh, God can come and rebuild our lives and we are so that anyway, but I hope you guys like this video Please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye